Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Tomb Raider. In the last episode, we made it through the rest of the fortress, and uh, Matthias has start, already started the ritual with Sam. And we're trying to get to Sam. He's protected by a force field, and we made it to the top of the area. And now we're at the final, the final boss, the technical boss of the game. And you may be wondering, what about Matthias? What do you have to do with him? Well, you'll see after we get past this guy, the big Oni. So, uh, this is the final boss. And, uh... I said this may be a two-part finale, and maybe a one-part. Just depends how fast to beat this guy and how fast the ending is and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, anyway, what you got to do is dodge him. I need to get my assault rifle ready. And once you dodge him, shoot him in the back. His back is the only place that doesn't have armor. You have to shoot him in the back. As you can see, he's protecting his back. So you have to shoot him in the back. It's the only place that's not armored. And once you shoot him in the back enough times, he'll fall over. You just got to uh, dodge. And shoot him in the back a few times. So he just got, uh, he's not hard, it just takes a lot to kill, it takes a lot to kill him, it really does. And you know, dodging's got to be pretty good too, and I'm out of bullets on my assault rifle. And once you see that, you hit the X button and Y button and you knock him over. But yeah, that starts to phase two. Now you got these guys to worry about. But luckily, it's only like a couple of them. Alright, there's only a couple of them. And once you get rid of them, then you can focus on the big Oni again. Don't get too close to him either, because then that happens. And yeah. And the streak continues. I die every episode. Yay! But luckily it starts right in the uh, second phase. With all the archers, so. And sometimes the only guy will take care of some of them for you, so. Jeez! Yeah, it gets kind of difficult, so. Bullets, please. Alright, dodge. Yeah, sometimes the only guys think, you know, the only takes care of them, the big only takes care of them themselves. As you can see. Alright. Now let's focus on the big Oni. Oh god, I forgot to load. Alright. Reload. Alright. This guy's a little bit harder than I thought he would be. I got an idea now. Well, that, didn't, that worked not very spectacularly at all. That's not gonna work. I need to do my shotgun. There we go. And oh, I kind of missed there. 
little early there. There we go. And phase two is finished. Now phase three is going to come in. With more of these guys. It's a lot faster this time too. And you notice that he has no more protection on his. You can actually shoot him in the head now too. He has no more protection on his head. If you want to try to start protecting his back a little bit more, you got to start shooting him in his head. But you can still get him in the back, but it's a little bit harder now. But the ultimate goal is to try to hit him in the head a lot more now. And once you do that, that should take care of him. And he just, why, why? Ah! And there, got the big Oni. There's your final boss. But we still got Sam to get. You can also salvage him for some salvage if you want it. But what about Matthias and Sam? You may be thinking, if that's the final boss, what do you do about them? Well, you'll see soon enough. Basically, it's a big trick, quick try timer event. There's really not much to it. So make sure you just hit the corresponding buttons. He got shot point blank and he's still alive. And this is how it's the two where he gets his uh, more large gets the dual pistols. And there you go. That's how you get Matthias. So this is, is going to be only one video finale. Never mind. The only I thought it would be a little bit harder than what I thought it was, but eh. Let's enjoy the ending. So it's only a one part finale, not two. So disregard that last video I said it's a two part finale. It's only a one it's only gonna be a one part. Bye, Himiko! I should get rid of all the storms out there so we can finally get off the island! Yay, we saved the day. It's okay. It's okay. You saved me. I knew you would. I made you a promise. Let's get you home. Yay! But we lost a lot of people in this journey. We lost Alex. We lost uh, Ross. We lost Whitman. Of course, Whitman didn't really matter. He was a traitor, uh, traitor anyway. And if you see the storm to dissipate and now we can finally get off the island. <laughs> and they're like, oh my god, she actually did it. Yes, she did. I've 
think she's going to be okay. You think? What happened up there? You wouldn't believe it if we told you. It's over. We can go now. Alright, alright. Just, get, just get the hell out of here. So yeah, okay, we finally get off the island. And Laura's first I've been so blind. journey so is finished. For years, I resented on my father. Doubted him like the rest. But he was right about so much. I just, I just wish I could tell him that now. There are so many mysteries that I once dismissed as mere stories. But the line between our myths and truth is fragile and blurry. I need to find answers. If I remember correctly, I think Laura Croft's uh, voice actor for this game is... She's Australian. She might be Australian or British. I think she's Australian, though. But now, let's enjoy the ending. Anything? So guess who's in charge of the endurance now? Why you're not going home? And Survivor is born. Alright guys. That's Tomb Raider for the Xbox 360, the remake. Let's let the credits roll. We hope you have enjoyed playing Tomb Raider. We have worked our hardest to make the best game we possibly make. Thank you for the, taking the time to complete our game. Alright. So it's time for the review. I thought, I mean, I've never been a huge Tomb Raider fan. I never really played many of the old, school, uh, the older games that when they came out for the PlayStation One and PlayStation Two and stuff like that. I don't know, but uh, when I heard that Square Enix took over Eidos and uh, they were making Tomb Raider, I got curious, especially with the Crystal Dynamics engine that they were making with, making it with, and I picked it up. And I was, just, and I actually played it through. And I was just like, this is actually really good. And, uh, and I thought it was, uh, and I played it through, like, three times before doing this LP, and I thought it was actually a pretty well good game. Is it perfect? No. Not even close. I like how the credits do here, to show actually pictures of all the, uh, all the people. Anyway, the story is actually really good. It's a nice origin story for Laura, like how Laura became the Tomb Raider and the survivor that we all know and love from the previous game. So this actually is the very first game in the timeline. And Rise of the Tomb Raider is a sequel to this one, so the first two games in the timeline are this one and then Rise of the Tomb Raider. <coughs> anyway, the story uh, about mythological beings and not... Uh, being like these myths and stuff like that was actually a nice little well out thought out little story. I'll give it a 8 out of 10. I mean it wasn't perfect but it wasn't bad either. I just wish like you know the gameplay was pretty good. I mean I'm not really big on like first person shooters and stuff like that but the stealth but the blend of stealth and um, uh, shooting and climbing and everything blended well. I'll give it a 9 out of 10, just for the fact that everything was good. That I just wish that the, uh, it, it would have been, it been uh, uh, wish you were able to do a little bit more with Matthias. I actually have a final bo boss battle with Matthias, something like that, instead of the big Oni. But it is what it is. I mean, there's nothing we can do about that, so. Anyway, the graphics were amazing. The Crystal Dynamics engine that they use has really brought out this game. Laura looked more proportionate and realistic. I mean, of course, in this game, too, I think she's maybe like 22. 20 also. About 20 years old. Not 22, but she was like 20. But anyway, but uh, they made her a little bit more proportional and not made her boobs like so huge. And the 
Dragon Island was, Dragon Triangle was really pretty, and what you saw, especially, you know, on top of that communication tower, and the, everything was just pretty. And, yeah, the graphics easily 10 out of 10. And that's one thing that Square Enix does right, like, with every one of their games, they do their graphics amazingly. It doesn't matter. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't know, it was really, really, really good. And, uh, I mean, everything else, too, like, using the environment and using your weapons with what you have to defeat your enemies and make shift your guns and make your guns stronger and salvage and stuff like that. Everything was just so well thought out and really good. But, I don't know. It was actually a really good game. I was legitimately surprised. The Rise of the Tomb Raider is actually even better than this one. Uh, eventually, I'll get to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Just not right now. I got more stuff in mind. But, yeah. Uh, characters. Besides Laura, I mean, and Roth. I mean, most of the characters were supporting characters. I mean, Roth, of course, he saw died. So, Laura. But, Reyes and Jonas and Alex and Grimm and all of them played their parts. And all that kind of stuff. But, with exception of Laura. I mean, this is her game. It's her story. I mean, everybody else is just supporting characters. And Matthias was not bad of a villain. I, mean, I just wish there was more more to him than what we got in the game. So, characters gets a 7.5 out of 10. They could have done a little bit more with the characters besides Laura. But, I mean, I, but I get it. This is her game. But, ain't too much I can do about that. So, But, um... Overall, uh, this game gets an 8.5 out of 10 for me. It's not a perfect game, but this is a hell of a good game. And I would recommend it to anyone, even... But I'm going to skip the rest of the credits. That's all that is. It's just the credits. So, anyway, that takes care of uh, Let's Play Tomb Raider. I hope y'all enjoyed as much as I did making this. And I uh, got a couple more games. And congratulations to completing the story. With the, at 68, you can return to the island by selecting continue in order to complete any unfinished activities, which is basically getting all the GPS caches and artifacts and stuff. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, I got a next couple of games lined up. And I'll be starting this in my next LP in a few days. After I get this put up, I might take a day or two off to start my next LP. And so like that. And I will see y'all next time. This is DKS3, the Crazy Gamer. Signing out.